The coker langen beck approach is a common posterior hip approach to access the posterior column, posterior and superior aspects of the acetabulum, and indirectly the quadrilateral plate. This approach can be done with the patient either prone or in a lateral decubitus position. Incision. Landmarks that are palpated in this approach are the PSIS, or posterior superior iliac spine, the tip of the greater trochanter, and the femoral shaft. The typical incision will look like this, starting distal and lateral to the PSIS, going towards the tip of the greater troch, and then following the femoral shaft down. Muscles. The first muscle that will be encountered is the gluteus maximus. This will be split up until the superior gluteal neurovascular bundle medially and to where you can appreciate its femoral insertion laterally. Tendons tagged in this procedure are those of the piriformis and obturator internus, which is a common pimping question. I would know the short external rotators of the hip, which can be remembered by P go go Q, which stands for the piriformis, gemella superior, obturator internus, gemellus inferior, obturator externus, and quadratus femoris. Laterally, you will be incising through the tensor fascia lata. Nerves. The major nerve to protect is the sciatic nerve, which runs either inferior to or through the piriformis muscle. You may see the surgeon bend the knee to relieve tension on the sciatic nerve. Ensuring that a sciatic neuroplasty and zero twitches are achieved are important factors for this procedure. Vasculature. Know the close proximity of the medial femoral circumflex artery within the quadratus femoris. Bony anatomy. The lesser and greater sciatic notches can be palpated, separated by the ischial spine. These notches are key landmarks in this procedure. Have fun retracting. See you all in the next one.